This is a 3D scanner, probably one of the most feature-packed 3D scanners that money can buy. This is the Revo Point Track It. Now combine that with this, and you end up with probably one of the most feature-packed 3D scanners on the market. Now, when we first showed this on our channel, a few of you said, what application and how would this help us in our industry? Now, the list is absolutely endless. But before we go through that list, we're gonna show you the process that you have to go through so it makes it easy for you to start using it. Now, that process is calibration. With 3D scanners, you have to calibrate them all but with the Revo Point Track It, it's all automated. All you occasionally do is move the equipment. Now this equipment is absolutely superbly made with 50% of it being made out of carbon fiber. Now the main components consist of a tracking board, a tracking bar, three tripods, a camera system, two gimbals, and the 3D scanner itself. Now, even the packaging is really well made with two hard plastic cases, both with wheels and handles, so they can be transported really easily. Even the packaging on the inside is absolutely superb with foam keeping everything in its place. Now the calibration process is really, really simple. You just fire up the online tutorial and it'll run through everything with you, as well as the software itself, the calibration software, tells you everything you've got to do. So when it comes to moving the tripods into their position, it's even got markers where it sets it and tells you that it's correct. Now, once the calibration process is complete, you then don't need these. All you need is a 3D scanner and the tracking cameras. Now, this is the software. And even though I don't know what I'm doing at all with this software, what I can see there is a start button. So I'm going to guess if I click that, that's going to start working. That's going to start tracking it. Let's give it a go. Right, I think you can already see something going off under there. Now, we can also see it tracking across there and it's on our screen as well. So we're gonna have a go and see if we can see it all on the Datsun. Right, so we've moved the equipment so we can see the back of the Datsun. We're gonna grab the scanner, we're gonna press that start button, see what happens.
So let's see from one click and a total novice to this software completely what I managed to capture. Now this, as I do remember, this is just the mesh. So what we've got here is we've just got a very vague, God, it's even got the chassis, chassis rail there on inside. I bet I could get all the inside of that wheel arch if I wanted. Right, so we click this complete button, we should get a slightly better rendering of this. Let's have a look what we got. Right, that's the that's still the mesh. And then don't know if point distance I really don't know what I'm doing but I know there's a click on here somewhere that smooths the mesh off for you and within minutes Whoa. Wow. Okay, that if I'd have carried on scanning in here, it would have filled all these in. And look at the detail. You can even see the little cuts I made in the metal to bend it over and the welds. And this, this is only, wow, look at that. You can actually see where Ryan has welded that wheel arch on. Ah, oh, that's cool. That's the patch. Now you can see what results I've got from one click. Now, it looks like if I'd have carried on going and filling in, because you've got to make the mesh all green. If I'd have carried on going and filling all that in, I'd have had so much detail had have been ridiculous. I'd, from there, I can measure points, make panels, do everything like that. Now, one of the processes that we're gonna use is things like scanning dashboard. Now, we do have a 3D printer. So, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be scanning dashboards and we're gonna be re remaking dashboards from a 3D printer. It's not quite just yet. I've got to get used to the software and gotta learn it a little bit. I don't have a great deal of time but I am going to learn it so that we can scan things like that. We can even scan things like if we're making custom dashboards and then in modeling software, we can make a new dashboard. And because we've got the old dashboard and the mounting points and everything for it, we can actually do any kind of dashboard we want in whatever shape we want and we know it's going to fit. But on the Datsun, again, this is a classic example of where we're going to use it. On the Datsun, we're having a full custom back diffuser now that is going to be 3d printed so what we can do is we can scan the back of the datsun and the underneath we can make the diffuser with the 3d printer and then from the 3d printer we can put it on the datsun and because we've scanned it and we've modeled it and then we've printed it we know it's just about going to fit and it's going to look right we can even make it to do things like go around fuel tanks everything like that. So if anything's not going to be made in metal, our fabrication, we can do it with a Revo Point track it and a 3D printer. Fantastic. Now I was just about to pack all this away because I don't know how to use this software yet. I've just kind of like hacked it. Um, but I spotted this one click button up here. So I clicked it. Look at the difference it made. This, look at that. That there is where the metal's been folded up. And you can even see the original beading, the creases. That is the really bad repair that's been done on that rear quarter. And Ryan's welding, look at that. You can see every one of his tacks. 
and this structure underneath, that is absolutely superb. Well, you can even see the back of it. And you can even see where the panel isn't even pushed down, it's lifted up. Look at that. Right, so that's it for the Revo Point Track It today. I'm really looking forward to getting used to this software so that we can put it into application. Um, for example, if we've got a bit of trim that's on one side and is missing on the other side, we can take that bit of trim, we can scan it, we can replicate it and mirror it, and we can make a new one. Fantastic. As I say, the list is endless. So I am looking forward to using this a little bit more on the channel. So keep your eyes out for when I do learn this software and I do really know how to use it because today I haven't a clue. So we will catch you in the next one. If you've enjoyed the video, leave us a like and press that subscribe button. It really does help out the channel and helps us to bring you more fabrication and restoration projects. And if you've enjoyed the Revo Point, don't forget to click the link below. It takes you straight to their website where you can find out more information on this and other products that they sell.